Hi. Now, for the last part of this question, we've got to verify that the point T, which is has coordinates 3, 14, lies on this tangent here that we just found up here. OK, it had this equation. And we've got to then go on to find the area of the triangle CPT. So if you'd like to uh, try this part, if you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video and come back when ready and we'll run through the work solution. OK, so uh, let's see how you got on if you had a go. Now, to verify that the point T with coordinates 3, 14 lies on the tangent, well, we've got this equation here. What I'm going to do is substitute when x equals 3 and y equals 14, the coordinates of point T, and hopefully it should come to 0. And if it does, then I'll know that this point satisfies the equation and it must lie on it. So let's just put that down for part 3, first of all, then. So I'm just going to say when x equals 3, y equals 14, if I substitute that into my equation. Now, what I'm going to write is just that equation out, 3x minus 4y plus 47. But I'm not going to say that it equals 0 yet. I don't know if it does. Obviously, I hope it does. But we'll just put 3 multiplied by the x-coordinate, which is 3 minus 4 times the y-coordinate, which is 14, and then plus 47. And if we work this out, we've got 9 minus 56, and then plus that 47. And if we do that, 9 minus 56 is minus 47, plus 47, that gives us 0. So therefore, just write a conclusion and we can see that therefore t, which has coordinates 3, 14, lies on the tangent. OK, so we'll just finish that off there. So it lies on the tangent. Now, for the next part, we're asked to find the area of the triangle CPT. Well, let's just put the point T on our tangent here. It's not going to be accurate, but we'll just say it's over here. 3 units across, 14 units up. So that's T there, and it has coordinates 3, 14. All right? So we're looking for the area of the triangle C, OK, to P, to T, and then back there, OK? Now, it's a right-angle triangle, the right angle being in here. So all I need to do is multiply, say, the base, we'll call that the base, times the height, which would be PT, and divide it all by 2, half base times height. So I know the base, it's the radius, 5, I've just got to get this distance here, P to T. So we'll do that first of all. So for part 4 then, so to get PT, Okay, we basically use Pythagoras' theorem. We imagine a triangle drawn in here. In fact, I don't really want to cram this too much, but uh, maybe we could just about get away with it if we draw a little dotted line in there and up through there. Okay, I hope you can see that. But essentially, PT squared is equal to this side squared plus this side squared. So PT would be the square root, then, of essentially this side squared, which is the difference in the x-coordinates, 3 minus minus 5. Let's put that down, 3 minus minus 5, all squared. It wouldn't matter if you wrote minus 5 minus 3, all squared. It would still come to the same answer. And then we do this side, which is the difference in the y-coordinates, and that would be 14 minus 8 or 8 minus 14. We're squaring it, so it really wouldn't matter at all. OK, so I'm just going to do 14 minus 8, and that is all squared. So what we get here is that this comes out as the square root of, and um, we've got 3 minus minus 5, that's 8, 
8 squared is 64 and then we've got plus and then we've got 14 minus 8 which is 6 square it and you've got 36 so this is the square root of 100 which is 10 it's not plus or minus 10 we're just concerned with the length okay so we just take the positive value so we've got the length of PT so therefore we should be able to get now the area of the triangle CPT so we've got therefore area of triangle CPT equals half multiplied by the base which will take us 5 multiplied by the height which is PT and that's 10 okay so we've got half of 50 which is going to be 25 and you could leave it as 25 being an area though I must admit I quite like to write square units but uh, I leave it up to you okay whether you write that in or not there you go the area of triangle CPT 25 square units